Great city rivalry in college softball being renewed tonight. It is Clark and Worcester State and Ralph Raymond Diamond, the place to be, the former Olympic softball coach. Ralph Raymond, the coach the best. Here we go, Rachel Fish, Frisch, former Worcester Tech standout, leading the Lancers, bottom of the fourth, 1-0 Worcester State. Haley Scola, the former St. Peter Marion star, rocket into left. Sam Maglioni, former Neshoba standout, moves up to second. And could this be a rally? Next batter, Monica Farazzini. Pokes one into left. That's a deep shot. Maglioni scores. Scola held it third. 2-0 to Worcester State. A double for Ferrazzini. Samantha Stig, former Doherty star, doing her job. Sacrifice fly to right. Scola tags. Scores. 3-0 Lancers in front. Then some good defense from Clark. Hot shot off the third baseman. Sarah Barubi at short. Fields fires home. And Clark gets the out at the plate. Sarah Fahey, the former Auburn star, moving up to third. Nice play by Barubi. Kaiulani Ennis. Muscling up. Kaiulani Ennis sends it over and out. It is a three-run home run. And there's a party at the plate. The Lancers are jacked and pumped. They're up 6-0. Frisch on her game, locking it down. Frisch with two strikeouts in the next half inning. Worcester State with the win, 10 to 3, your final. Doherty and North, baseball this afternoon. Scoreless game in the top of the first. Doherty's Chris Schoen on the hill, and Chris Schoen is on his game. Schoen gets a strikeout, and he's not going to stop there. Schoen gets another strikeout. This one ends the inning. Bottom of the first, runner at third for Doherty. Dan Sheeran pokes one into second. Good hustle by Sheeran. He beats the throw at first. Ricky Rushton, who's got great wheels, scores. 1-0 Highlanders in front. Runners in scoring position for Kyle Monfredo. Chopper to short. Sheeran scores. Highlanders are up 2-0. Throw to first gets away. Josh Brunel looking to come home. Then he puts on the brakes. How about the nimble feet of Josh Brunel? Offensive and defensive lineman able to run like that. Next batter, Doherty's Dimitri Ceccaroni doing his job. He's out, but Brunel scores. 3-0 Highlanders in front. And then the pitch gets away. Monfredo's coming to the dish. He scores. Doherty's up 4 nothing. North. Nice bit of pitching here. The lefty getting out of the jam with a strikeout. Doherty, though, gets the win. 20-5 to five is your final. Clark taking on MIT. Baseball bat action this afternoon. College circuit. Top of the fifth. Five. MIT's up 7-1. to one. Cam Smith gets a strikeout to end the inning for Clark. Bottom fifth. Nick Jordan. Reaches out and touches one. Jordan pokes one into left. He's got himself a single. And the next batter is Andrew Tebow. And Tebow puts a charge into one. Deep to center field. Falls in. Jordan's being waved home. He's on his horse. Picking him up and putting him down. Jordan scores. It's seven to two. Tebow winds up on third. He would be stranded there. Top of the six. Smith. Getting another strikeout for the Cougars, but it's MIT who gets the win. 7-2 is your final. Notre Dame Academy. Acibit. Girls lacrosse this afternoon. Pick it up in the second half. 8-4. NDA in front. The Rebels with the shot. Audrey Nader with the save for the Aztecs. Then Notre Dame Academy's Gianna Desenzo taking it to the defense. She scores its 9-4 NDA. Jillian Lucier on the 8-meter. Robbed by Nader. Great job by the goalie, staying right with the shooter. Asovitz, Sage Roach, down the other end. Barron in, and Maddie Langevin with a nice stop for the Rebels. Notre Dame Academy's Mia Wahlberg to Lucier. She ripples, 10-4 NDA. Aztecs, Abby Gilman on the eight meter. Great shot and a great save from Langevin. More from the Aztecs. This time it's Bella Bean, eight meter. Bella Bean, beautiful bounce shot. She scores, it's 10-5. Bean, another eight meter. Bean on the run, off hip, off stick side. Goal scorer shot right there, makes it 10-6. NDA coming back. The long pass to Molly Vinton. Vinton on the doorstep, twine finder. Makes it 11-6. Notre Dame Academy goes on to win this one. 11-9 is your final. Well, Worcester baseball fans have to wait a few more years for the Paw Sox to play up here. Right now, the Pawtucket Red Sox coaches and players are focused on this season and winning. Andy Lacombe was in Pawtucket today where expectations are high. 
This is Rich Gedman's favorite time of year, the start of another baseball season. The Paw Sox hitting coach and Worcester native says there is a lot of talent on this year's roster, but as far as how well the team is going to do in 2019, Gedman shies away from making any kind of predictions. You know, we're just coming out of spring training. A lot of guys raring to go, so um, we'd, all, we'd all like to start off well, but uh, I, I don't know that. That's the, the part. It seems like every time I think we have a really good team, it doesn't turn out so good. And every time I think we have kind of a bad team, we really do well. So um, I try not to get too far ahead of myself. I know it's early. I know there's going to be some adjustments along the way. But this group of players here is a, a pretty good group and probably the best I've been around so far. So Gedman takes a lot of pride in working with the players here at Pawtucket, but he gives them all the credit in earning their spots here and eventually at the next level in Boston. The Paw Sox get their first chance to impress on Thursday night, they're in Syracuse, and their home opener a week from Thursday back here at McCoy Stadium. I'm Andy Lacombe, Worcester News Tonight Sports. All right, thanks, Andy. Always great to hear from Getty. He is the best. He has his players' respect and their admiration as well because they know that he has no ego. He's there to help them get to the next level to Boston. And if you are a Central Mass baseball fan, it's an easy ride down to Pawtucket. I've taken it many times. It's a great take-in. I'm Kevin Shea, and that'll do it for sports.